Hey there, good morning and good evening. It gives us a great pleasure to meet with you through these online sessions and hope you're all doing good and great and I've been terribly missing you since the last session. And uh, we are here connected again with this another beautiful topic that we are going to discuss. And we always keep reminding you about this um, importance of the sessions. This is about building your life and taking you to the next level and helping you live a successful, victorious life but not without failures, not without mistakes, not without errors. And that is something uh, every human being will have to understand. And that tells how mature a person is all about, right? Because there is no life without struggle. There is no life without any kind of hardships and shortcomings. But how we handle it and how we overcome, that helps, that determines a person's success and that determines a person's strength in terms of his mind, right? How strong he or she is to overcome. Right. Um, and that also inspires many people and it helps building the society, building your environment. That's why these sessions are very important. And I strongly believe that these were useful uh, to all of you. All right. So um, we, as usual, begin with a quote, a very famous quote. Stop doubting yourself. Work hard and make it happen. Right. Yes. Welcome to this session where we are talking about hard work versus smart work right many people really work hard but then there are smart workers who overtake them without any effort right they put in very less efforts but they use a lot of their uh, intellectuals or their learnings their understanding their um, capacity to build the knowledge talking to people socializing with people and not all people are born intelligent but they develop this intelligence over a period of time through networking and that's something you and I need to really watch out. And that's the reason why we thought we will have to pick this topic and help people, especially if you're a teen and you're studying and um, you know working hard in academics or you are a new uh, person, a fresher and professional line, and then you're uh, into some software industry or mechanical industry, it doesn't matter, um, where you're not able to cope up with things and you're somehow disheartened and in, you know kind of having that uh, deprived feeling that you're being ignored and it's only that you have the problem actually no uh, because the reason is you are not um, allowing yourself uh, to adopt to the principles or pick up the principles of smart working versus hard working all right let me start with a very interesting story a very beautiful st story also funny one uh, one summer what happened this afternoon a grasshopper was hopping about in a field and he was singing merrily and enjoying the day. On his way, he met an ant. An ant was struggling. Always ants, you see, you know, they're very busy. You can never see an ant idling, uh, sorry, in idle mode or hiding themselves for work or whatever. They're always busy running after each other or helping each other and all that. And this grasshopper fellow was a lazy fellow. Uh, and then he was making fun. He thought he had nothing to do. Uh, so he saw the ant and he said, why don't you come and chat with me instead of toiling so hard? We will have great time. Then the ant said, I'm trying to collect and store food for the winter. I can't waste time like you being idle. And I think you should start saving for the winter too, said the ant. And the ant is making the right suggestion. How cute it is, right? Ant has the smallest brain and the smallest blood vessel and the smallest tiny organ, uh, organism uh, or, an, or a creation of God. The grasshopper yawned and said, ha. Ah, Winter is too far away. There is plenty of time. Why worry about it today when I have more than enough to eat? But the ant went on his way and continued to work hard. Days passed by, months passed by, winter also came. And until then, the grasshopper enjoyed himself and the ant collected enough food for the winter for his own family and uh, for his relatives. This is how ants are. We need to learn from them. Yeah, don't store up money only for yourself. Share it with your friends, share it with the poor downtrodden and needy people within your family or outside your family, right? That's the beauty of ant. When the winter came, the leaves have fallen, grass have started withering, and it's all snowing, frozen. Now the ant was enjoying the fruits of the hard work. It's eating very well, having dinner, having breakfast, lunch without any delay, and they were all having great time. Then the grasshopper regretted for not working when he should have. Moral of the story is, you had you would have worked hard for something you have thought and planned for that will lead you to happiness, success, 
and for a well-being right you 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 will be the one who will create the atmosphere not control the atmosphere but create and manage the atmosphere even for others they all benefit through it all okay now <clears throat> my personal definition for uh, working uh, smart or working hard both of them falls under this common definition working intelligently and vigorously on a given task to complete it with maximum efficiency all right with a maximum effort but you need to work in you need to apply your intellectuals all of us have brains never ever disqualify yourself from the race because oh i'm not from iit i didn't do um, an enge engineering course or i'm not a professional i didn't do a professional uh, uh, graduation and all that so all of us have intellectuals and some of the top notch guys are school dropouts includes uh, mr bill gates we are using his software and we are recording such sessions <laughs> so they don't ever have that inferiority complex within you uh, please come out of that battle right what does working hard actually mean many people ask this question constantly regularly or habitually if one is engaged in a earnest and energetic work no time to sit no rest nothing continuously running it may be an industrious work or an it software engineer or a you know you know any it may be any gender um, or student or any age group right that's what it means what happens uh, when you work very hard see working hard has its own good good benefits and it's important you need to work hard without working hard you cannot become a smart worker you need to work hard uh, to gain that knowledge and then apply the dynamicity we will learn that in the in the coming uh, uh, sessions or in the coming coming uh, not in the coming session we are just going to learn in the next sections within the same session so hang on uh, we learn important lessons in life when we give ourselves over to hard work determination attentiveness responsibility problem problem solving skills analytical skills self control over your mind all these parameters develop not without hard work an idle man's mind is the devil's workshop like how that grasshopper right he he killed himself it's shooting on his own foot right but when you work hard all the other emotional parameters all the other uh, intellectual parameters will help it it improves your skills right these lessons in turn serve as in other areas like health relationships hobbies everything develop learning process uh, it it develops now how can i identify that someone is a uh, belonging to the hard working category that includes you and me right if you want to have a checklist i'm giving you the checklist you keep taking maximum number of ticks you are a hard working fellow right these are the things right that determines your character and attitude also it's tightly coupled uh, then only you can be classified or labeled as a hard working person or not these are some of the characteristic features checklist you will be very punctual you are mr dependable anybody can depend on you you are so punctual and dependable uh, you are the one who will always initiate things you aren't shy you are very bold and you are very flexible you will never say no you will accept everything you will grab why because you want to work hard um you are uh, self motivated all the time you will always have a priority system you will always have a priority this is first second third you will organize your work you are a quick learner you are self independent you have lot of stamina and energy for which you will do good exercise and you will go for walking and uh, all that you have lot of perseverance skills you will understand a person situation why because every problem is an opportunity for hard working person you see he will never say no every problem every situation is an opportunity so he doesn't look at it as a ah, workers come on now i have to work hard so not nothing like that you will never hear that statement from this fellow are you one of those then this checklist is a tick mark and you are a hard working person you will have you will build a lot of team spirit you are a leader who will groom uh, your team and um, you are you are a uh, good uh, you are strong in marketing skills too right the hard working person will somehow make efforts to sell the outcome output of his hard work and he is very good in marketing so all these things are the characteristic features of a hard working person overall holistically if you have to define this and this is how you define this is how you can classify yourself that's very important how do you work hard and still enjoy life many people outsiders looks like 
to, to them it looks like he's always working hard workaholic uh, he doesn't have uh, time for his family food the clothing nothing right and as it doesn't go for a break but actually that's not the case um, uh, but then the people who work hard uh, who are organized should also take care of these parameters else what happens is through your through your hard work you will kill yourself over a period of time frustration builds and one small failure you won't be able to uh, take it in a positive manner so these are the four or five tips if you're a hard working person you should take into account to build that space private space for your life for your family for your uh, life at home that is a life after work you know leave work at workplace don't carry it to home step away from your email box or step away from your paperwork if you're a civil engineer um, or if you're a lawyer don't do that right um, don't go on pressing on perfectionism right these kind of guys hard-working guys are perfectionists they really want work hard striving striving they are not living in a perfect world always keep saying that and that will really mellow down your expectations not lowering mellow down your expectations you'll keep trying but without any frustrations without killing yourself okay know that it's okay sometimes to say no i told that right these guys will never say no they don't know how to say no to some work because for them everything is work and important opportunity sometimes you need to say no to certain work and free up your space therefore you can do quality work rather than uh, doing that quantifying your work this much i have done instead of that one thing i did but it's a masterpiece right that's so that is also part of hard work attribute and people who hard work uh, they somehow feel if i'm not occupied for 10 hours uh, somehow i feel i'm not right nothing like that right you can you can uh, you can still be occupied for 10 hours but not at stress right prioritize the work these are the things which will help you to enjoy your life work life balance corporate industry they always talk about work life balance but they never allow them to have a work life balance you only should organize your work don't look at your organization to organize your work look at yourself and start organizing your work organization can give you work but you need to organize your work create some time after work for your family etc it's in your hands don't blame the company and you're not going to get what you want you need to organize you need to draw lines you need to learn to say no you need to try to st stipulate you need to prioritize you need to organize your work and manage things within that eight nine hours anything goes to the next day anything outside goes to the next day right advantages and disadvantages of hard work and then we will talk about smart work i know you're all excited to hear about that how different smart work is from hard work i'm going to talk about that but let's look at the advantages and disadvantage only two two points and two two a uh, uh, couple of them advantages of hard work i already told many of it we gain a lot of knowledge and we gain a lot of experience some people immediately one overnight i want to become a millionaire hard work gain knowledge give it time right settle down in your current expertise in your current skill current profession this will help us to uh, move to the next step next level of smart work i told you many times the foundation for smart work is hard work yeah once upon a time he was a hard worker and then he became a smart worker why you cannot build that dynamicity and innovative skills without gaining the basics and the knowledge building the knowledge on the uh, without knowing the blueprint right disadvantages of hard work hard work may become boring and kind of monotonous right repetitive repetitive work same work and it can you won't learn dynamicity and hard working fellows don't like to kind of become more innovative they like mechanical way of uh, doing some things right they want to move the springs and take the bricks and move the luggage from this place to that place these are the kind of fellows who won't think smartly and that's their problem disadvantage so i'm not saying hard working people are not dynamic few hard working people don't want to become dynamic why because that's their mindset you need to change that it consumes a lot of time and effort right you need to take you need to take that out of your hat all right bad feather out of your hat now let's get into smart work so far you're with me you're all enjoying the session i hope so right this is all life see it is not a pep talk uh, you know tickle you and make you laugh or uh, come on take a deep breath and let's have a yoga session all this you will get outside but these kind of sessions which help you to develop the emotion emotional parameters and the life related aspects there isn't any 
I'm not saying there isn't, but then people don't pick such topics practically, which will help people, right? They will say, be joyful. How to be joyful? What should I fix to be joyful? What is not working for me that I'm unhappy? Therefore, I'm not able to be joyous. People don't uh, ask questions. That's why we are picking such topics. Now, what does this smart working mean? Actually, smart working is the term that is often used to refer to the new ways of working made possible by advances in technology and made uh, essential uh, by economic, environmental and to meet the economical and environmental and social pressures. The demand supply must increase. Demand is also increasing. Supply must increase. How it can increase? Same uh, human being, you know, rolling the spring and manufacturing and all that uh, won't work. You need to create robots. You need to uh, make use of the big data technology. You need to be able to, um, you know, uh, understand the expectations, the growing demand. You must be able to predict for which you need computers, software programs to give you the data statistics, statistics and metrics. Right? All these are technology oriented. Don't hate technology and hardworking people also need this technology. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And the smart working handbook from where this definition um, came is basically, you know, uh, very helpful for every mankind. What is smart working example? Give me an example. I'm waiting for that uh, moment. So let's start with basic, ex basic example. Ages ago, the cage man pushed his cart, you know, huge pieces of stone for carrying. I put that in the picture also, right? Um, uh, but the modern man made a wheelbarrow to easily carry his load and traveling a long distance with less effort. Some guy used his mind to invent wheel. Wheel is such a blessing, no? It, it, car also uses wheel. Aircraft uses wheel. Without wheel, it cannot land. You will keep flying in there. Petrol will die and you will also die. Right? White petrol will die. Fuel will die. There will be out of fuel and you will also die. Obviously, it, you will fall down and crash. All right. If you crash in the river, it's fine. If you crash in the city, other people also will die upon whom this heavy aircraft falls. <laughs> so um, some one guy thought about it and he invented wheel to create ease and flexibility and lenience for the mankind. And this dynamicity, this innovation is not only a blessing to you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't make your life alone easier, better. But it improves the society. You are a blessing to the world. You are a light to the world. Kind of. That's why the smart working is very, very important. It's a classic example for smart work, I feel. Now, what is the smart difference between smart work and hard work? One key, two or three key differences. The difference is based on how one approaches the task, his thought process, right? The way I told you, right? One guy is carrying the load on his back and he's going like that for a, he has to even put an high, uh, put a hunch on his back but the other guy who's watching this guy struggle is thinking how to resolve this guy's problem the approach is different it's not that he doesn't want to carry yes that is true but he doesn't want that guy also to carry he will think from a social angle how the world can benefit that is how uh, these guys become so special smart workers right they think from everyone's perspective and that is an opportunity. They will create business. Okay. Hard work would mean spending long hours to complete work without any shortcuts. These guys know always straightforward method. Traveling the same route, coming back on the same route. Same arithmetic, same formula. Nothing, nothing changing and they won't listen also. That's a big problem. Smart work would be aiming for the same results but with planning and prioritization and with a lot of automation. They like automating. They build robots. They build machines, yeah, or at least they coach the human being to have some shortcuts. All right, is smart work better than hard work? I'm asking all funny questions, one and the same only, but different questions. Hard work is definitely more important. Nobody is denying because it is only through hard work that we can achieve the goals of your life. Smart work, on the other hand, often leads to shortcuts, right? And to achieve anything in life, one has to commit to continuous hard work. There is no doubt, which will lead one to the summit of achievement. We never, in a simple terms, hard work is equally proportional to smart work. Even if you're a smart worker, you need to work hard to invent something. So they are not separate. They are one and uh, one and all. They are packaged together, right? Do not work hard, but work smart alone. Somebody says, is this a correct statement or not? We will justify that. The purpose of working smarter is to accomplish the same or more without working hard. 
without working hard means not being repetitive not being mechanical not doing the same boring work right the best way of working efficiently is to optimize your break brain functions brain functions will be optimized in a better way the best of your brains you will be able to get when you are when you want to automate something right you live in the same excel sheet but you write a simple program an excel sheet builds a report automatically you press one button report report will come but otherwise you will have to draw lines and everything you have to pull imagine 20 years ago they used to write that report in a paper it how much it of time right uh, scientific ways uh, our brains normally are capable of remaining focused for about 90 minutes then you need a break for 15 minutes this is how your brain works you are you may be a hard worker soft worker uh, sorry smart worker either of these guys are human beings right and they need that break so have this as a norm therefore you work hard or you work smart you need this kind of regular breaks that's a norm okay now advantages and disadvantages of oh no before that what are the tips to become smart worker we also spoke the tips about hard working right if you're a lazy guy you need to follow that tips if you're a hard working guy you follow these tips and you become a smart worker okay no lazy to hard working hard working to smart working that's the channel we are putting laying down in front of you uh, finish the most important tasks first right if you want to be a smart worker pick up all the important tasks priority prioritization is important say yes to a commitment only if you have a time capacity capability talent confidence otherwise say no or say i will think and come back don't say immediately yes i want hard work somehow i will you know tear the mountains into two pieces and i will make it work for i'll make the pathway for you to travel in between the mountains only you can write a poem in this kind of saying you cannot make it happen right that too not in the one overnight maybe you need all machineries and breaking mountain you need permission from the environmental department and they will say no to it <laughs> some people accept such mountain climbing tasks and they have no skills so that's where i'm trying to tell you smart workers don't do that they nice they analyze it properly say no to the habit of um, uh, no uh, that we have already covered uh, sleep seven to eight hours smart workers you see even before the day of examination they will sleep for eight hours why because that really improves your brain functions people think if they work hard the previous night brain will remember so much no no brain will forget whatever you had learned the whole night sleep well seven hours of sleep is good adequate focus on one thing at a time prioritize and just take one at a time smart workers they will work like that one thing at a time focus full attention concentration completed then take the next one full attention concentration completed then take another thing like that you know do things that only really matters that is going to benefit you benefit the society benefit the people around you benefit the company but you're just doing it for the sake of showing some numbers somewhere, somewhere to someone please don't do that smart workers won't do that but if you want a smart workers these are the rules uh, you follow these rules obviously you will become a smart worker trust me try it out okay what are the advantages and disadvantages of smart working we will talk about that and we will close this session smart workers are intellectual they want to become intellectual it's not they're born intellectual they will become intellectual it improves their innovative skills dynamicity smart worker improves productivity production i told you no supply has to increase because the demand is increased growing demand supply must increase smart worker only can meet that it teaches time management skills students especially right don't keep studying everything we can prioritize what is the most important first finish that don't ignore any subjects but then please prioritize what is difficult and start with that and then easier ones you can learn later right because of smart work we now have free time for example modern transport systems reduced effort and time in moving from one place to another place flight travels right or bullet trains india is said to embrace one bullet train for the last 75 years since the time they got independence it's a different story uh, but countries like japan right they were the first one who invented bullet train and you see how fast they travel from one place to another place whereas here in bangalore we take the same uh, number of kilometers to cover in four hours those guys cover in four minutes productivity is more in that country we lose a lot of time on road and traffic you think about it something about it and build a uh, you know bullet train without any railway track flying in air yeah it's possible think big right smart worker 
forces us to concentrate on work fully because it demands mental presence. The guy will be very good in concentration. Uh, that or you will become very good in concentrating. Nothing can distract you. These are the advantages. Disadvantages are also there. Everything has a side effect, right? Every medicine has a side effect like that. Smart work can make one lazy. That is possible. Why? Because there is too much of machinery, luxury. You will become so lazy and you start building fat here and there. Then you will have to go to doctor for cholesterol tablet, right? More smart work may not yield results. Sometimes it's it, it may end up in a disaster. Everything you cannot automate, right? Still, there are manual functions. You need to stick to that. Hence, we cannot completely rely on smart work all the time. There are disadvantages. To work smartly at first, we need knowledge about the work, which comes only with hard work and experience. I keep telling this. Hard work experience are the uh, foundation stones for smart work. Lastly, we cannot teach hard work to smart working persons. That, 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 that's because of a reason the smart workers mostly are lazy, sluggish guys. Like, like desk work, sitting and all that, they won't do any physical exercise and they'll end up in all sorts of physical ailments, physical illness. Yeah. All right, good. I think uh, this is what we want to present about hard work versus smart work with examples, stories, narrations, and all that tips and guidelines and rules. Hope it was very useful. Please comment, subscribe to our channel, comment whether it was useful or not. You need any new topics, let us know or contact us in WhatsApp, double nine zero double two one one five two is our number. Um, otherwise, stay blessed. God bless you. And uh, we hope and we strongly believe that these sessions are helping you to march forward uh, steadfast and more confidently in your life. God bless you. Stay tuned and we will soon meet you with another session.